have been reserved for the king's pleasure. Therefore, the king's portion is reserved for you. A prepared position awaits you with the king of kings sitting at the head of the table. He desires that you sup with him in the presence of your enemies. By accepting his personal invitation, your needs are met, the desires of your heart fulfilled, and to top it off, you will receive the exceeding abundant above all you can ask for or even think of. Imagine that. The more you understand the king's heart, without a shadow of a doubt, you will begin to make more room for heaven's treasures. Welcome to King's Portion. This is Captain Joy Foster, and the theme of our program today is the Tsunami Blessing Inside and Out. And this is part 19. We're going to begin with Isaiah, the ninth chapter, the fifth through the seventh verses, and this is from the complete Jewish Bible, and it reads, For a child is born to us, a son is given to us, dominion shall rest on his shoulders, and he shall be given the name, wonder of a counselor, mighty God. Father Eternity, Prince of Peace, in order to extend the dominion and perpetuate the peace of the throne and kingdom of David, to secure it and sustain it through justice and righteousness, henceforth and forever. The zeal of Adonai will accomplish this. Adonai sent his word to Jacob, and it has fallen on Israel. For why? Because God sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. So we say, now this is who shall reign, and that's Jesus reigning, and it's also the descendants of David, which we would be included. Now he says, we have to know now who can't reign. We're going to look in also Revelations, the 12th chapter, the 9th through the 11th verses. And this is from the voice translation that reads, So the great dragon, that ancient serpent, who is called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world, was cast down to the earth along with his messengers. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven. Now is come salvation and the kingdom of our God and authority of his anointed one have come for the accuser of our brothers and sisters who relentlessly accuses them day and night before our God has been cast down and silenced by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their witnesses. They have become victorious over him for they did not hold on to their lives, even under the threat of death. So we see here, this is an objection for Satan to lose so irreparably that he is even evicted from the courts of heaven and all alien hosts have been routed so they have no rights to bring any cases against you before the judge so he can't rule. We want to look at this, that there is a projection of the kingdom, the power, and the glory of God and who they're supposed to be ruled by. David's son, which includes Jesus, which is also includes you. So what we're saying today is the first fight you probably had in life was probably a word fight. And that struggle began when you were a child at a time when you were probably defenseless. It may have been even to the point where it left you wounded, but now you have an undefeatable defense team. Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit plead for you. They already have favor with the judge, your Abba Father. They confirm that you already have the capacity and the compassion to complete all proceedings in your favor. So you have to become a credible witness in the courts of heaven so that you can get over your past successfully. Then you can leave any thought or intent of retaliation behind, knowing that restitution gives you a new beginning. I'll be right back after this message from our sponsor. The Catherine Joy Foster Music Ministries is a 21st century multimedia marketplace ministry. In your discovery, you will find the power of God present to go where you are, to take you where Jesus is, raising you up, repairing you, restoring you, so that you can be as Jesus is in this world. Now available for workshops, banquets, conferences, webinars, concerts, prayer meetings. You can call area code 216-486-8615, extension 1. Again, that's area code 216 
486-486-8615, extension 1. Proud to be an advertiser for King's Portion Web Radio. Welcome back to King's Portion. Again, the theme of our program today is a tsunami blessing inside and out. You know, the first fight you probably ever had in your life was probably a word fight. And that struggle began probably when you were a child at a time when you were defenseless. It even probably left you wounded, but now you have an undefeatable defense team. Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit plead for you. They already have favor with the judge, your Abba Father. They confirm that you already have the capacity as well as the compassion to complete all proceedings in your favor. So you have to become a credible witness in the courts of heaven so that you can get over your past successfully. Then you can leave any thought and intent of retaliation behind, knowing that restitution gives you a new beginning. So he says that, yes, you are to reign before the Lord, and Satan is not to reign before the Lord. We're going to look at this. Now, David is a credible witness of the coronation of one of his sons, in this case, will be Jesus Christ. He sees the invitation and the instruction to Jesus, who is seated next to God. He hears the impact of Jesus' reign as a high priest after the order of Melchizedek. God's voice and God's vow to Jesus makes it documented as preemptory. That means it's precluding debate or any question or any appeal is positive, absolute, decisive, conclusive, and final. So we're going to look in Psalm 110 in the easy to read version. And it says, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right side while I put your enemies under your control. The Lord will cause your kingdom to grow beginning at Zion until you rule the lands of your enemy. Your people will gladly join you. When you gather your army together, you will wear your special clothes and meet together early in the morning. Your young men will be all around you like dew on the ground. The Lord has made a promise with an oath and will not change his mind. You are a priest forever, the kind of priest Metesedic was. The Lord is at your right hand. He will defeat the other kings when he becomes angry. He will judge the nations. The ground will be covered with dead bodies. He will punish the leaders of powerful nations all over the world. The king will drink from a stream on the way when he will lift up his head and become strong. So this is God talking to Jesus. And this is what King David actually has a vision or he's in the midst seeing this. And it says that we need to be willing in the day of Jesus' power. And so that's now for you to be a king and a priest before him. So there's not only the coronation, but there's also the protection. And we come under the protection of God. Now listen to this, that to protection by God's voice and God's vow backs you up 100% because it ends all arguments. For God is a surety for your good against the arrogant oppressor, defeated foe, Satan. So this is what God wants us to experience. You'll find that in Hebrews, the sixth chapter, the 15th through the 20th verses, and the J.B. Phillips new testament and it reads when god made his promise to abraham he swore by himself for there was no greater by whom he could swear and he said surely blessing i will bless you and in multiplying i will multiply you and then abraham after patient endurance found the promise true among men it is customary to swear by something greater than themselves and if a statement is confirmed by an oath. That is the end of all squabbling. So in this matter, God wishing to show beyond doubt that his plan was unchangeable, confirmed it with an oath 
so that by two utterly immutable things, the word of God and the oath of God, who cannot lie, we who are refugees from this dying world might have a source of strength and might grasp the hope that he holds out to us. This hope we hold as an utterly reliable anchor for our souls, fixed in the very certainty of God himself in heaven, which Jesus has already entered on our behalf, having become, as we have seen, high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. So what happens here is you see that God did not need anyone to vouch for him. For he is the most high God, but it is his voice and it is his vow that was able to stand secure so that you can be free indeed. He is the conquering king in the person of Jesus Christ. Now on our program today, you can enjoy the music of Seven Complete. Now let's welcome him as he raps Conquer. And I'll be right back. Uh, yeah. When it's all said and done, it's only gonna be Christ on the throne. And Christ alone. Jesus. He came to conquer. He's coming back to conquer. Yo, the vision and mission is seven complete. It's for the streets and the heavens to meet. Bottom line is God hates Satan, they can never sever the beat. I ain't gonna put no frosting on it. Got the message of the cross, you want it? Cause if you don't, homeboy, your soul's lost and haunted. Like Uncle Fester, cousin, it. What I'm saying, pinch your heart, doesn't it? Take a stand in our band with my brothers in arms. Covenant, I ain't talking about the government's army, the Democratic Republican Party. Guaranteed that the angels of God cover and guard me. Y'all continue to exalt yourself and put out false perception, it's cost effective. Uh. Yeah, true, they got away with words. Seem like they got away with words. But one day they gon' get what they deserve. Till then I'ma pray and serve. But oh, so blasphemous. Lord, I would blast if I had permission. Mash on the mighty rest and that Jurassic picture. On the count of mishandling the past description. Uh, but the weapons are not carnal. Told Jeremiah the skeptics would not harm me. Uh, and the method is not karma. Weapon in these section, you best with a Mount Karma. Word. Yeah. It's sure as Elijah was fed by the ravens I walk in the same faith you brought the dead out the grave with Pastors, preachers, teachers, evangelists, prophets, come on It's sure as Elijah was fed by the ravens I walk in the same faith you brought the dead out the grave with Everybody that's called by his name, get up uh. I'm talking about my savior, man Alpha, beta, omega, code Let my data load Minister of the millennium Pentium process Seven complete conquest Spiritual bomb threats release Never believe lyrical progress When Jesus of Nazareth Comes back like Lazarus To rapture up half of us Holy disaster struck in No man can react fast enough Volcanic blast erupt Spreads of plagues and pestilence Various areas desolate Death is the estimate The next event is everlasting agony To be cast into massive feet Drag Beneath this forecast predicts the Lord's wrath is accurate and no tragic accident. Salvation don't cost a dime. Without it, you're lost behind. The devil must have lost his mind when he crossed the line. Trying to floss with that false design. Cautious rhyme is an awesome sign. Time of the elected squad. Set aside and selected by the utmost respect to God. Lust and greed. Lust and greed leads to nothing. Must we discuss this legal justice? Jesus is Lord. Believe and trust him. Christ is King, son. No need for custom. This ain't no ancient myth Even a faithless atheist can relate to this Visit us on the web at blog.kingsportionlive.com That's blog.kingsportionlive.com Thanks for staying tuned to King's Portion, where the theme of our program again is the Tsunami Blessing Inside and Out. You know, the first fight you probably ever had was probably a word fight, and that struggle began probably when you were a child, a time when you were defenseless. Now you have to remember, it probably also left you wounded, but now you have an undefeatable defense team. Now, Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit 
plead for you. They already have favor with the judge, which is your Abba Father. They confirm that you already have the capacity and the compassion to complete all proceedings in your favor. Now, what it has to happen is for you to become a credible witness in the courts of heaven so that you can get over your past successfully. Then you can leave any thought and intent of retaliation behind knowing that restitution gives you a new beginning. So we now know who is supposed to reign and that's you along with Jesus and that we know who is not supposed to reign, which is Satan. We also know that Jesus is the high priest forever. You have to remember that in his line under the a tribe of Judah, there are not supposed to be any preach from that line. But because God made Jesus by oath and by promise, it was according to the endless life. Because now we don't have to change priests year by year and he doesn't have to cleanse his sins every day trying to make sin offerings for himself as well as other people. Jesus did it once for all. So he can concentrate on representing you. So we're going to look at this. The Constitution is acknowledged by David's last will and testimony on earth. It is your everlasting covenant of peace on how to rule your territory. So this is David in 2 Samuel, the 23rd chapter. We're going to begin with the 2nd through the 5th verses in the International Standard Version. And it reads, The Spirit of the Lord speaks within me. His word is on my tongue. The God of Israel has spoken. The rock of Israel has talked to me. When one is governing men justly, he fears God while governing. He is like dawn's first light, like bright sun blazing on a cloudless morning, glistening on grassland that flourishes after a rain shower. Is not my dynasty like this with God? Has he not made an eternal covenant with me, preparing every detail of it? And has he made it secure, including my complete salvation? Has he not? He has been continually helped, has he not? Even with respect to all my desires. So we're saying that he's fully covered, totally equipped. Now we want to look at that is what David experienced. That's what he says. Now this is my dynasty. That includes you. But let's look at Psalm 111 in the King James Version so you can understand that you have an eternal covenant of peace. And it's like a peace treaty that ushers justice to the point that you experience restitution on the earth. We're going to look at this particular psalm and it reads, Praise ye the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, sought out of all them that have pleasure therein. His work is honorable and glorious, and his righteousness endures forever. He has made his wonderful work to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He has given meat unto them that fear him. He will ever be mindful of his covenant. He has showed his people the power of his works, that he may give them the heritage of the heathen. The works of his hands are verity and judgment, and all his commandments are sure. They stand fast forever and ever and are done in truth and uprightness. He sent redemption unto his people. He has commanded his covenant forever. Holy and reverent is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments, his praise, and doeth forever. Now it says that he has given meat unto them that fear him. That meat is prey, which means that you have some spores of war coming. There'll be nourishment 
for you. He's letting you know that the quality of this peace tree that you have is incomparable, is irresistible, is unforgettable, is undisputable, is irreplaceable, is indispensable, is irreversible, is unstoppable, incontestable, invincible, irrevocable, inexhaustible. It is unquestionable. It is undeniable. And it's all for you. I'll be right back after this message from our sponsor. Plan to stay tuned for the entire program today. I was just standing there basking in the sun and all of a sudden I was soaking wet. There wasn't a sign in the sky so I was unprepared without an umbrella but in the end it just didn't matter. I loved every minute of it. I knew I was living under open heavens. It really does give new meaning to being overtaken by blessing. Not a dry spot. This is Fran the Fan of H-D-O-R. Uh oh here comes the rain again. You've been listening to King's Portion Live with web host Catherine Joy Foster. Thanks for staying tuned to King's Portion. Again, the theme of our program today is a tsunami blessing inside and out. Now, the first fight you probably ever had was a word fight. And that struggle probably began when you were a child, when you were defenseless. And you were probably also left wounded. But now you have an undebeatable, undefeatable defense team. Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit plead for you. They acknowledge that you have favor with the judge, your Abba Father. They confirm also that you have the capacity and the compassion to complete all proceedings in your favor. So you have to become a credible witness in the courts of heaven so that you can get over your path successfully. Then you can leave all thoughts and intents of retaliation behind, knowing that restitution gives you a new beginning. We want to look at restoration, how God sees it, because he says he'll even restore the years, giving you a do-over from anything that didn't go right. So you have an everlasting covenant of peace between each other. Now, this is also a ceasefire agreement between you and every other mankind. So don't forget that the fight is not against flesh and blood, but it is against the arch enemy, Satan, the principality, the powers, the rulers of darkness, the spiritual weakness in the heavenly places. The devil has already been judged, condemned forever. Now deal with any indiscretions, but not the individual. First of all, when we look at this, God's pledge to us is Jeremiah 32, 39 through the 41st verse from the contemporary English version. And it reads, I will make their thoughts and desires pure then they will realize that for their own good and for the good of their children, they must worship only me. They will even be afraid to turn away from me. I will make an agreement with them that will never end and I won't ever stop doing good things for them. With all my heart, I promise that they will be planted in this land again. So you see, this is God's plan to make you pure by his promise that you'll be planted in the land he gives you forever. Then we look at Jesus' fulfillment to you. And it is in Hebrews, the 13th chapter, the 20th through the 21st verse. It says, Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every work to do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. So we're saying here, now we're looking at this is the God of peace. And what he's done is through the blood covenant, make you perfect. And what is the work of, of Christ? The work of Christ is to demonstrate his love. And that's love for God, for one another, and even for your enemies that except for Satan. You get permission to keep him on the hate list. Now, third, we want to look at this. We want to cite 
any corresponding cases in the word so that you can live complete without any contradiction being your script. So we want to refer to the eternal blood covenant that you have. Also, the great cloud of witnesses, which includes King David, who would testify on your behalf. It doesn't matter how many people may be against you when God is for you. Let's look in Hebrews, the 12th chapter, the first through the third verse. And this is from the Geneva Bible. And it reads, Wherefore, let us also see that we are compassed with so great a cloud of witnesses, cast away everything that presses down and the sin that hangeth so fast on. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross and despised the shame and is set at the right hand of the throne of God. And Jesus is the high priest. He says, consider therefore him, which is Jesus, that endures such speaking against of sinners, lest ye should be wearied and faint in your mind. What he's saying here in this text is that any tongue that rises against you is going to be shown to be in the wrong. On our program today, you're going to enjoy the continual music of Seven Complete. Now let's welcome him as he raps. Hip, hop, honey. I'll be right back. What's up, girl? You gonna come back to the Lord or what? I mean, come on, hop. You know what it is. You iced out now, huh? You got you some cars. You blinging now, huh? You know who created you, though. Come on, girl. Keep it real. Come on. 1993, she was looking so fine to me, knowing it was my time to be a MC. I kept shorty a rhyme of three before she dated me. We related creatively, words that she would say to me. I led her to the Lord. I jot down the verses and I let her do the chords, similes, and metaphors. Uh, she liked to write the song. I like the microphone. Favorite phrase, long as my gas and my lights is on. A different type of strong came from a broken home. Pop song, heroin, listening to Earl Flynn. That was the early 80s, boys, the men, girls, the ladies, break dancing, pop, lock, and hop, had the block popping. Those was the love days before the drugs came. NYC graffiti on the trains in the subway. She found ways to learn how them record labels earn cash off the way them DJs make them tables turn. I can't afford to lose her. The industry is trying to rape her. I pray that the Lord will use her. Video girl, type of chick that'll make you go and get rid of your girl. Mommy got a banging body, probably gon' tempt me. Hard to keep it holy when you got Leon on empty, but I ain't looking for no hip hop, honey. Quick to holla at a homie, cause she think he got money. Asking Poppy for a hundred when he only got twenty. Baby, what you pick up from the gift shop for me? Uh, this can't be the same girl I fell in love with. Who used to break beats, now she doing club hits. Her dude smack her up, now her lip is swole. She up in Monroe, swing around a stripper pole. Plus her boyfriend taught her how to flip her O. She tried to get control, gotta let the liquor go. She once was a diamond in the rough. Now every other night you can find her in the club. With her real friend, Joan and Maya. And when she come home, she alone and tired. Whatever it is, money and sex, hot follow. She'll do anything to become the next top model. Man, back in the day, that real hip hop, when hip hop was real, man. You know, she was thorough, man. She was fine, you know what I'm saying? But it's like the industry didn't got a hold of her. It's like she a strawberry on crack. It's like that. You know, they raping her, taking her gifts, using her. She ain't authentic no more, you know. But I believe that hip hop can come back to the Lord, get her life right, and be used by the Lord for his glory, man. That's what I'm talking about. That real hip hop. That gorgeous hip hop. Without, without the thongs and the ice and the bling and the cars and the flash. It's real. Y'all know what I'm saying, man.
Welcome back to King's Portion. Again, the theme of our program today is the tsunami blessing inside and out. Now, the probably the first fight you've ever had in your life was a word fight. And that struggle began probably when you were a child at a time when you were defenseless. Now, you have to know that you were probably also wounded, but now you are protected. You have an undefeatable defense team and Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit plead for you. They already have favor with the judge, which is your Abba Father. And they confirm that you already have the capacity and the compassion to complete all proceedings in your favor. You have to know this, that you need to be a credible witness in the courts of heaven so that you can get over your past successfully. Then you can leave any thought or any intent of retaliation behind knowing that restitution gives you a new beginning. We want to look at this. What happens when all the nations arise as the church? What happens when God bruises Satan under its feet shortly? The head of the serpent is utterly crushed. You won't just believe for restitution. The promise of God will be in your hands as a possession. You will see restitution with your own eyes because your healing, your restoration, and a power of new life shall spring forth speedily. And this is reconciliation. We're going to look in Zephaniah the third chapter, the ninth through the twentieth verse from the Common English Bible, and it reads, And I will change the speech of the peoples into a pure speech, that all of them will call on the name of the Lord and will serve him as one. From beyond the rivers of Cush, my daughter, my dispersed ones, will bring me offerings, on that day, you won't be ashamed of all your deeds with which you sinned against me. Then I will remove from your midst those boasting with pride. No longer will you be haughty on my holy mountain, but I will cause a humble and powerless people to remain in your midst. Then they will seek refuge in the name of the Lord. The few remaining from Israel won't commit injustice. They won't tell lies. A deceitful tongue won't be found on their lips. They will graze and lie down. No one will make them afraid. Rejoice, daughter Zion. Shout, Israel. Rejoice and exult with all your heart, daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has removed your judgment. He has turned away your enemy. The Lord, the King of Israel, is in your midst. You will no longer fear evil. On that day, it will be said to Jerusalem, don't fear Zion. Don't let your hands fall. The Lord your God is in your midst, a warrior bringing victory. He will create calm with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. I remove from you those worried about the appointed feast. They have been a burden for her, a reproach. Watch what I am about to do to all your oppressors at that time. I will deliver the lame. I will gather the outcast. I will change her shame into praise and fame throughout the earth. At that time, I will bring all of you back. At that time, when I gather you, I will give you fame and praise among all the neighboring people. When I restore your possessions and you can see them, says the Lord. So that's looking at, this is what the whole church is going to look like. And this is a prophetic voice. Now we're going to look at what happens with first Judah and Israel becoming one. In Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, the 15th through the 17th verses. This is from the easy to read version. It says, the word of the Lord came to me again saying, son of man, get one stick and write this message on it. This stick belongs to Judah and his friends, the people of Israel. Then take another stick and write on it. This stick of Ephraim belongs to Joseph and his friends, the people of Israel. Then join the two sticks together in your hand. They shall be one stick. So it's saying you're seeing them as one and they were made a nation as one. Now let's look at this. 
They're lining up every other people. The non-Jews will be joined together to create the body of Christ where Jesus is the head. And then we can see that because we're joined together and we're not a headless body, there'll be no schism in the body. Let's look in Ephesians, the second chapter, the 13th through the 15th verses. And again, this is from the easy to read version. And it says, yes, at one time you were far away from God, but now in Christ Jesus, you are brought near to him. You are brought near to God through the blood of sacrifice of Christ. Christ is a reason we are now at peace. He made us Jews and you who are not Jews, one people, one man. We were separated by a wall of hate that stood between us, but Christ brought down that wall by giving his own body. Christ ended the law with its many commands and rules his purpose was to make the two groups become one in him. By doing this, he would make peace. So now you have that everlasting peace. But let's go a little bit further because to remain unbeatable, the rules of the courts of heaven obligate you and I to accuse Satan of all wrongdoing and also excuse yourself and all others. So when we are entering the court of heaven with a heart of repentance, we transition from guilty to not just not guilty, but we are acquitted as innocent because of the blood of Jesus Christ. Now in Luke 6, 35 through 38 commands are from Jesus who said to us, do not be the judge and do not be the condemner. Instead, give everybody else, including yourself, the advantage that can only be found in forgiveness. Now, on the other hand, in Isaiah 54, the 17th verse says, you have the freedom to condemn every word used as a weapon that wounded your soul and defrauded you. But look at this, just like Jesus so graciously did, Commit yourself and everything to God to judge righteously. That's why you to go to the courts of heaven in that way. You can live as a credible witness. And to do that, you want to give your heart to Jesus Christ right now and allow him to cleanse you from all unrighteousness and let him be the Lord of your life. And this is one way to do that. Say this prayer after me. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I recognize that I need to be saved and you are the only way. Come into my heart. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness with your blood. Make me a new creation in Christ, knowing this, that old things have passed away and all things have become new. And I accept you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, I pray. Now, if you said that prayer, why don't you email us at info at kingsportionlive.com. That's info at kingsportionlive.com. And we'll send you some encouragement along the way. Now, let's return to the remaining portions of King's Portion after this message from our sponsor. We invite you to visit our new interactive website. Please log on to www.kingsportionlive.org. That's www.kingsportionlive.org. We believe that you will discover something that will speak to the royal blood in you. Thanks for staying tuned for the conclusion of our program today, which bears the theme, the tsunami blessing inside and out. You know, the first fight you probably had was probably a word fight. And that struggle began when you were a child at a time that when you were actually defenseless. It may have even left you wounded. But now you have an undefeatable defense team. Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit plead for you. They already have favor with the judge, your Abba Father. They confirm that you already have the capacity and the compassion to complete all proceedings in your favor. So you have to become a credible witness in the courts of heaven so that 
you can get over your path successfully. Then you can leave any thought and intent of retaliation behind, knowing that restitution gives you a new beginning. So we're going to look at this repossession. What happens when you hunger and thirst is for God's word alone. You understand that God's word is not empty promises because it's based on eternal covenant, which shows that Satan has already been dispossessed by Jesus. So let it be entered into the record that the testimony that he attempted to initiate against you has backfired. Judgment carries Satan's eternal damnation, which can never be reversed. You just came to the court of heaven to finalize the proceedings so that you don't have to wait till you get to heaven to receive everything you lost back. Restitution gives you your voice back. So that you can be a credible witness in the kingdom of God. We're going to look in Isaiah, the 55th chapter. And this is from the message translation. And it reads, hey there, all who are thirsty, come to the water. Are you penniless? Come anyway. Buy and eat. Come buy your drinks. Buy wine and milk. Buy without money. Everything's free. Why do you spend your money on junk food? your hard-earned cash on cotton candy. Listen to me, listen well. Eat only the best. Fill yourself with only the finest. Pay attention. Come close now. Listen carefully to my life-giving, life-nourishing words. I'm making a lasting covenant commitment with you. The same that I made with David. Sure, solid, enduring love. I set him up as a witness to the nations, made him a prince and leader of the nations, and now I'm doing it to you. You'll summon nations you've never heard of. And nations who will never heard of you will come running to you because of me, your God, because the Holy One of Israel has honored you. Seek God while he's here to be found. Pray to him while he's close at hand. Let the wicked abandon their way of life and the evil their way of thinking. Let them come back to God who is merciful. Come back to our God who is lavish with forgiveness. I don't think the way you think. The way you work isn't the way I work. God's decree. For as the sky soars high above earth, so the way I work surpasses the way you work. And the way I think is beyond the way you think. Just as rain and snow descend from the skies and don't go back until they water the earth, doing their work and making things grow and blossom, producing seed for farmers and food for the hungry. So will the words that I come out of my mouth not come back empty handed. They'll do the work I sent them to do. They'll complete the assignment I gave. So you'll go out in joy. You'll be led into a whole and complete life. The mountains and hills will lead the parade, bursting with song. All the trees of the forest will join the procession, exuberant with applause. No more thistles, but giant sequoias. No more thorn bushes, but stately pines. Monument to me, living and lasting evidence of God. You want to make sure that no matter what happens in your life, that you always keep God innocent. Knowing this, it's not over until you win. And restitution settles all accounts in your favor. This is Captain Joy Foster for King's Portion, where we speak to the royal blood in you. You have been listening to The King's Portion with radio host Catherine Joy Foster. Today's podcast is available for download. Log on to blog.kingsportionlive.com or email info at kingsportionlive.com.